Hello year 5, uh, here again we start uh, uh, that slide because this paper is not completed in the previous uh, two slides. So let's start, here is the center line is called the equator of the earth, the upper part that point in which we have uh, from the equator to the above the equator is called the north hemisphere or north pole and the down part which is from equator to south is called the south hemisphere or south pole so we divide earth into a two part that is the north pole and the down is the south pole so in this picture they ask which hemisphere is having summer that the part which is tilted towards the sun this part is called the summer so right now it's the northern hemisphere here so the north pole or the northern hemisphere explain your answer because here they are facing the sunlight and the day the length of the day is more than the uh, length of the night so here the estimate length of the day experienced by people living at x here at this point here just just think about this this is exactly the half of that time so the day and night is equal to the 24 hours but if it is half of it the exactly half of the day so it is about 12 hour that so the day length is 12 hour and the time of the sunrise and the sunset sunrise is about in 6 a.m to the sunset is 18 p.m so the total length if we take the difference of the sunset and the sunrise then it's equal to 12 hours now they are talking about this point if you are living here so did you take the coat you need coat yes why because you experience there here is the day length is shorter and the night is longer so if we explain we are giving here the answer yes why because the day is shorter than the night the length of the day is shorter than the light night night is bigger here so which month of the year does this diagram represent in your book also when you saw the picture there is a picture in which when the north pole is tilted towards the sun so it means it's summer it shows the summer and the month of the summer is june so please give write your own answer and then go and check in the next slide in the presentation and also you can uh, check the answer of the assessment when you slam move the slides so you'll get the answers here thank you so much